Hi everybody, Blazor Gallery is now live and in this video I'm going to give you a brief tour of Blazor Gallery and show you how to sign up if you would like to. Um, I'm already signed in but I'll uh, go ahead and create a new user so I'll sign out. So I'm going to just create a user. I'll call this user uh, Test Betty and her name is Test Betty. Her parents were kind of weird. And it's testbetty at gmail.com. Like, it doesn't really matter. It's just a test. And it'll be testbetty123. I think I did that wrong. But let's see. Maybe that's right. Okay. And sometimes this takes... I don't know why. I'm trying to figure out why this takes so long. Because this is being done in the background. Okay. Wasn't too slow there. Earlier today it was kind of slow. Just a, 10 minutes ago. All right, and this was uh, test Betty. Test Betty one. Oops, I spelled that wrong. One two three. I don't want to remember the password. And I added this little terms of service, just saying basically, don't upload porn uh, to my server, please. Uh, is always saying so yes you accept these terms of service and if you don't I'll show you really quickly if you say no it'll be like okay you go to Google I'm just like well alright go find your own damn site but we'll go back so let me uh, log back in as test user Betty or test Betty I want I wish I had a little hand there just waved at him before I send him you know little message saying see ya wouldn't want to be ya alright test Betty one two three. I don't want to remember the password. Okay, and yeah, this time she'll say yes. She accepts it. Okay, so now Betty is here. If Betty wants to upload some folders, some images. Uh, we'll just you can update it. I uh, it's in a flex grid, but I wrote some code just to do the uh, the sizing I just set the height to the same you know basically these images are all being images so they're all the same size if you have an image that's a little bit different let me see if I got a wide like something like that's kind of wide uh, yeah that's fine that was this yeah they also put a message where I've got a if, if the file is over 20 meg oh wow I just realized because that wraps that is not cool I'll have to uh figure out okay I need to make that because like because that name's longer I need to make that wider so I'll work on that just a couple little known bugs but let's say I got an image that's kind of wide like this one it it uh, it does the same issue I was just talking about but I'll fix that let's see uh, if you go down that might that's probably too big some of these are huge Okay, so that is uh, the tour of, uh, let's say it's all for this folder. Okay, and then we'll have, if you want to create a new folder, you can create a new folder. We'll just call this uh, shirts. And in the shirts folder, you can, I'll go to my shirts folder, which is somewhere in here. Graphics. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I need to fix that for sure. But uh, let's say we get a little image like that. And then let's say uh, Betty decides she wants to go on social media and share her shirts she created. So she copies this folder. That did move a little bit, I noticed, but that's okay. And then now we'll make it a... Uh, if you open a... I'll have her sign out. And then now, if we paste in... So now it goes to Betty's folder. So that's just a cool way to create a portfolio site. So that's enough of my tour of... Um, well, I'll show you one more thing. Let's say I'll... Uh, you want to join again and since we already have a test Betty if you try to join and it'll say uh, 
the name is already taken it makes a little query and same as if I do it with the store procedure well it's gonna try the name first so I'll just say mark two or something and then this will be uh, testbetty at gmail.com and this message will say the email address is already taken so that's just uh, one more thing that I added and if you try to delete a folder I might have shown this already in the last video I don't remember oh she can't this is somebody if you're viewing as someone else you can't uh, that's why this can't be deleted here but if I go back uh, I'll log in as uh, Betty I don't know why a couple of times it asked this twice I've already uh, I've uh, thought I had that fixed but it sometimes it takes a second time for that to work but if Betty wants to remove the folder you get a confirmation you sure you want to remove this folder if you say no it just goes away and if you say yes and I need to make it actually delete my uh, the images from my server if you delete a folder I was thinking of even actually putting the images in a real folder right now they're all in the upload folder but I was thinking of putting a uh, you know putting like in actual folders but it's on my list but so I just built this site in I don't know 10 days or so but now we're going to show you if you want to create your own site I'll give you a quick tour and if you want to change your image and a logo you could create your own I'm gonna go see if we can fix this right now so we're gonna to try to make that not wrap so opening up the site uh, I was looking at something okay we don't need to change the interval I was thinking it was too slow but it's I mean it sometimes the site is just slow but my servers I, I don't pay a lot for my server I pay two bucks a day I mean it's a lot to me but it's not you know if, if I was a company I would get a more robust server okay so uh, what I want to do is try to fix the main go to shared and I'm gonna try to fix that uh, problem I just showed you where if the name is too big it wraps so let's go to where are the two buttons here are our two buttons top right okay so we're gonna make this bigger so we put a dot there okay top right what is our width 20% I'm gonna make this 28% and then uh, what is it text wrap or white space no wrap because I don't want any wrapping in there all right so let's see I'll just run it here because I want everything in that top line to be on the top line hopefully that's enough because most people don't have a username that's too big Uh, well, I don't have that on my sir, my local copy. I don't believe. The terms okay so now that looks better so now it doesn't wrap and hopefully uh, I'm sure the problem will come back if it's a really long name but 
that should fix it. So I'll publish this while we're doing what we're doing. So I'm going to uh, update our version number and then make a new NuGet package. So properties package 1.1.1 I mean 11 I was just watching a video yesterday about what happens if you see 11 11 four times in the same day and then now I just saw 11 11 so it's like and we're almost at 11 11 in this video it's like wow some of the YouTube videos it's like the market for crazy is like huge I've determined okay so now we have our nougat package already we'll check this in in a second but we're gonna first go to uh, a program called build copy which is doo -doo 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 -doo. oh you gotta open Visual Studio and this program takes a really long time to run but okay we're done okay so now we're gonna make the NuGet package that was a really long time all right if you're a fruit, fruit fly where you have 24 hours for your whole day your whole lifespan all right so now we have template pack which is this is gonna make our NuGet package so what we're gonna do is you have to edit the project file because with this we are there's an 11 11 again okay but I know sorry all right that's kind of way this video all right so now we're just going to put a release note and the release note will say I made the top right div wider so it, and added a no text wrapping so the uh, welcome tell the sign out I'm sorry so the sign out button doesn't wrap okay good enough for that now I need to update the readme with the same thing because I kind of like to keep my release notes in the readme because this shows up in the NuGet package and so will this video eventually uh, so if we go to the read me not here we need uh, the read me in this is it sorry templates yeah yeah that's it And this is going to be version 1.1.11, 11, 11 again. It's just everywhere. Okay. Uh, take that out. All right. And now what I do is I copy this. I don't know why, but uh, there's also a README in the SQL folder. So I want this to... Uh, be the same text and then the next thing I need to do is the upload folder is currently going to be empty because of uh, the, that build copy program doesn't copy it I have it excluded but what I need to do is add this little file that I have and I'll show you where that file is if I go to blazer gallery uh, upload and I search for dot text I'll just do there there copy and I need to put that in the project templates we can clear this now working templates uh, WW root upload 
So this way it'll pack this file. This is the only way I, I found to get the upload folder to pack. It wouldn't pack if it was an empty folder, so I got to put that in there. All right, so now what we're going to do is uh, let's go back. Make sure I did this right. Hang on. Edit project file. One, 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 one. Everything is good. And build. Okay, so now I can check in the. Uh, Checking in the latest code with NuGet version 1.1.1111 again. Sorry, it's that video. That's the way they kept every time something like that would happen. Like twice a day, it was 11.11. Checking in the latest code with NuGet version, which uh, fixes top right width issue. Hopefully, it's always an understood hopefully, but many times the solution you think is the solution was a not the right solution, but it temporarily worked. All right, so that's uh, the update. So now I can go to NuGet. So I'm going to pause the video while I log into NuGet. I'll be right back. I am back. I shall now upload. So I'm going to go to C. I have a shortcut. Blazor Gallery. Project Templates. Working. Templates. Not Templates. Working. Bin. Release. There. And there's that 1111 again. Okay. So now, and this should show our release notes. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so now everything looks good. Hopefully all my uh, documentation is right. Submit. So now I'm going to pause the video until this arrives. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. The package has been published. Let me scroll all the way to the... It's, uh, here it is. Okay. There's 11.11 again. <clears throat> okay, so here we have the uh, little, this is the uh, the uh, command prompt, sorry my brain went dead, the prompt to uh, the text to enter to install this via the .NET CLI. So I'm going to copy this to my clipboard and show you how to create your own project and how to customize it if you had any desire to do so. So what we're going to do next is go back to my temp folder and I'm going to empty my temp folder. I always feel like a rebel when I do that. It's like, oh, it's already empty. Ooh, I'm already a rebel. Whew, didn't even know it. It's kind of like Easy Writer. All right, so what I'm going to do next is... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to close Visual Studio. And now I'm going to open Visual Studio. And I'm going to say continue without code. And now I'm going to go to tools, NuGet package manager console, package manager console. And before we do this, I'll show you one thing. If you would rather just clone the project, you don't have to use NuGet. This is exactly the same thing as uh, if you go to NuGet and go to repositories. Here's Blazor Gallery. Right now it's the first one of the first ones that come up because I've been working on it a lot. But if you copy this URL, I mean, I mean if you come over here and clone, you can either copy this or download it as zip. If you prefer to do that, if that's easier than using NuGet, you're more than welcome to do that and leave a star while you're here. So, but we're gonna, in this video, we're gonna install via NuGet. So I'm gonna first change my directory to my temp folder. Now I'm going to install that, and I already have an older version. You'll see it said uh, the 1.1.8 was uninstalled, and the new one was installed. All right, and now I'm going to paste this again, but this time we have to take out that 11.11 and the word install. So what this is going to do is create our solution in the temp folder. So now if I open up my temp folder, I've now, I'll refresh it with F5 in my little uh, app here. All right, and I'm going to now open our Blazor Gallery solution. 
Now there's one thing that I have to do every time and I always forget, but I'm not going to forget this time. If you, I'm going to change the HTTPS to uh, IIS Express. Okay, and then the next thing you need to do to run this, I'll show you how to create the database. The README has all this uh, information in it you need, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, just show you. This is a video. That's why we're here. So next we're going to, who does all that reading stuff, right? All right, so what I want to do is open SQL Server Management Studio. And I'm going to create a new database. I already have one, but I'm going to just create a temp one to show you. Blazor Gallery 2. And now, as the instructions say back in our, if you're one of them reader types, uh, here it is. Create a SQL Server database named Blazor Gallery. We have done that. And we're going to now say, uh, execute this file and it's located in the SQL folder of this project. So I'm going to open this from here. I'll open the one from the temp folder where I just uh, installed our project. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just hit execute. That was real hard. All right, so now uh, back here at the instructions it'll say insert admin.sql so I need to open one more file okay and now we need to create three environment variables the first of which is the connection string so I'm going to show you an app that you might find useful this connection string builder app installs with datatier.net and if you were on my server, datatier.net, go down here to really, you can either uh, clone this project or download the zip file and in the tools folder is the program uh, connection string builder. I'll show you very quickly. Or you can run the release version there's a msi down here and with the release version you can uh, it'll install this on your desktop and that's what we're going to use you might think this is worth leaving a star and liking this video just for this program here and i'm going to type in my server name database name is blazer gallery 2 for me but that would just be blazer gallery for you I'm going to build my connection string and I'm going to test and copy. Now I will tell you on my server I had to not use Windows authentication. I had to use a uh, SQL server authentication with a username and password because my server runs when I'm not logged in. All right, but for this, this is fine. So now we're going to go edit the system environment variables. I had to move these by the way if you watched my previous video they were user level environment variables but when I went to my server that didn't work because again I'm not logged in when the website runs so I uh, I'm on a, I mean you would create a new one here I'm gonna just double click on this one or edit this one and the only thing I'm gonna do is change this to blazer gallery 2 and hit OK now, we're going to do two others while we're here. So what I want to do is close this down. So I'll go back right into that. The next one you're going to need is Blazor Gallery Key Code. And I don't know if this is case sensitive or not. This is the one I'm using here. The one on my server is different. But it's just a, a password hash that is used to create, uh, or it's a, just a hash that's used to, key code to create hashes for passwords when they're hashed. And these ha passwords cannot be reverse engineered according to really smart math cryptologists. So I just go with what they say. Okay, so, uh, and I'm gonna, uh, so anyway, you just make up a string here for Blazor Gallery key code. You can call it whatever you want. And then finally, you're gonna need 
blazer gallery URL. So create a third one. And for the uh, project, it is one one, I mean, excuse me, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash localhost four four looks like three three zero I'm gonna turn my mic on because I'm blind in my magnifier four four three three zero sorry I'm blind as a bat thank god I quit trying to play pool for a living about 20 years ago or longer maybe longer all right so now uh, what we're gonna do that should all run now if you change if you just set up all that so I can come over to our uh, I'll close this one down but this is the one uh, this is the one in the temp folder I can just show you that that it's uh, in C temp so if I run it this should all work because I'm using the same uh, I mean, it's using, I've already got all my environment variables set up, so let's see. And I'll just tap to join. And I'll join as me again. And this is not my real email, but it'll work for this. And join. Okay, and then I'll log in. Probably should have it type the name there. I think I could do that very easily. Uh, password. All right, and I'll make that remember. Okay, and I have to accept my own terms of service. Okay, all right, so that is how you create your own Blazor Gallery project. Uh, I'll just add some images real quick, just make sure it all works. I was impressed so I didn't have to do, uh, I was worried the upload folder wasn't going to work on the site, but it all works. Okay, so that is my short video, but Blazor Gallery, this is not the real one, but I'll show you the real one one more time, just to, if you need a place. I'd like to, uh, some feature, excuse me, I'd like some feature requests. If you have any suggestions, let me log in as me. Password. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, that wrapped right there, I just noticed. Okay, so that is, uh, but at least uh, Blazor Gallery is live today, so I accomplished something. The one thing I didn't show yet was if you want to change your own. Uh, version of the site you can do that just go this is my images folder I'll just show you this in file explorer is easier yeah so here's the image this is the sidebar uh, I believe that's being shown right there and some of this can be deleted it was like stuff I tried and didn't like like that can be deleted but well, this is the temp version, it won't do any good. But uh, here's the logo, that one can be deleted, I don't use it anymore. And here's the logo that I ended up going with, I think it was this, that one right there. So logo red can go too, and the blue one can go. It was just a trial. Yeah, but, and I, don't know why this is even here. I tried something from Bing and I didn't like it when I got there. Sidebar blue to that is not used, I don't believe. Hopefully I'm not deleting some that's used. That was the full uh, Bing created that image for me. I don't need that here anymore because we're using the sidebar. And I don't need this one. Okay, sorry, just going through here and getting rid of stuff. But if you wanted to do your own, you could change out all these buttons. If you wanted to make anything look different, you could change this. The biggest thing, though, if you just wanted to change the logo and the sidebar, let me know what you think of Blazor Gallery. All right, and if you have any feature requests, let me know. One of the things I think it would be nice to have, like, if the user allowed it, a download button next to an image or even possibly a, 
uh, like see, this is a button for the user but right now all it does is if you click it they get the option to remove it but I don't want to remove it but what I want to do is possibly a uh, an enlarge like view a larger copy so the whole screen kind of views it or something like that and then download you know download it when and possibly who knows some other things but that's that's the stuff I can think of for now but basically this is a demo for datajuggler.blazer.components and datajuggler.blazer.fileupload and dataTier.net. Alright, peace out.